It's the last BC game day in the cave before the Olympics breaks and there's no shortage of goals just the way you like it. My name is Andreas Hachinko and you're watching the KHL Update. We head out to Novosibirsk first where Sibir take on Lada in a must-win game. Sibir have won 9 out of the past 10, can they keep it going? Pick it up from the second, Sibir on a counter-attack, Vladimir Pervushin gets the puck at the far post and he scores! Oh, but it's gonna be waved off after video review and passes the call on the play. The team stayed dead, luck at zeros up to the final minutes of regulation and then Sibir finally scored one that counts on a power play, Alexander Sharov buries the rebound. A few minutes later, rookie Damir Rookie Mullen gets five in a game for this nasty hit from behind on Kirill Vorobyov, leaving Lada to kill up a long penalty at a crucial point of the game. And Sibir had a security goal to their lead. Alexander Sharov stopped the second of the game and ninth of the season. That's all they're gonna need. Alexei Krasikov stopped 21 shot for his second consecutive shutout, and Sibir take it 2 0 on home ice. Well now to Astana, Kazakhstan, where Boris faced off town the list where have clinched the playoffs but lost three in a row. Boris play for pride in this one and they get on the board first. From five minutes into the opening period, Kevin Dahmer rifles it home from on top of the circle. Up down the list tied up nine minutes into the second period, B.A. Parento finds the back of the net as he redirects to get into Salas pass from the slot. Early in the second period, Boris gets back in the lead with another power play marker. This time it's Nigel Doss who finds his target. Doss leads the league with 34 goals. After Ambelis escape loss in regulation as they convert on a man advantage late in the period. Alexei Vasilevsky slams it past Sergei Kudrovtsov with a clapper from the point. The game goes to the shootout and Anatoly Golshev gets to be the hero as he scores the win in the fourth round. After Ambelis snap their three game skid and take it 3 2 in the shootout. Now in Ufa, where a very exciting game takes place, Salavati Live lets him up against Jokirid. These two are second and third best teams in their respective conferences. Jokirid starts with Kerry Ramo in goal, but he has to be replaced early on after this collision with Jonas Kampanen. Jokirid GM Yari Kuri shakes his head above the no call on the play, and Ryan Zapolsky takes his place in the cage. The Jester strike midway through the period, Steve Moses roofs it on the rebound of the end boards, that's his third of the year. But not only is Halawa tied up before the intermission, but they also get in the lead. First, Vladimir Kachov moves the puck to the point, Maxim Gintrov slides into the hash marks, and the Zahar Zamasov redirects it into the net for his fourth. A minute later, Vigori Panin throws it on net from the point, Timo Hardikar and gets his stick on it, and he scores his career-high 20th goal of the season. He's a point away from his all-time best in the cage. Jokiri bring it back to even seven and a half minutes into the second period. Niklas Jensen finds some room in the offensive end and sends his 17th goal of the season past Ivan Nalim upon the glove side. A few minutes later, Salavat regains the lead. Maxim Majorov scores his third while Slava Saladukin draws the only assist on the play. Jokiri tied up with just three seconds remaining to play in the period. Jesse Jonsson buries the rebound to get a power play goal. 3-3 after 40 minutes of play. Early in the third period, Salavat can run on a man advantage as well to get their third lead of the night. Then a Solberg sends it home from the right circle. But Jokiri managed to get back even again a few minutes later. Captain Paterigin makes Salavat pay for a clumsy defensive play. The game goes to the shootout and Steve Moses wins it for the Jesters. He roofs the past Nalimov and Jokiri take the extra point. 5-4 shootout final on this one. We're now in Kazan, where the top game of the day takes place. Top team of the East, Akbar Smith's second best team of the West, Red Army. And these two score like this, no tomorrow. Just under 9 minutes in, Irzy Sekic beats Anton Lander in open ice, and Lander beats Ilya Sorokin, 1 0 Akbar's. Less than 2 minutes later, Red Army convert on a power play to tie it up. Sergei Shmakov snipes his 17th goal of the season. A few minutes later, Maxim Shalunov gets the puck on open ice and he has no trouble beating Emil Garipa from there. Shumakov and Kirill Kaprizov with the assists. 
Ogbar bring it back to square one with a power play goal late in the period. Vladimir Kachov celebrates his 22nd of the year as he puts his baseball skills on display. Tie game up to 20. Early in the second period, Akbar's regained the lead. Alexander Bormistra scores his second after joining his hometown team from the Vancouver Canucks. Five minutes later, Red Army can run on yet another man advantage to make it a 3-3 hockey game. Greg Scott gets the marker while Matt Robinson and Jack Platt get the assists. Three minutes after that, they score in a power play again. Maxim Shalunov chips in his second of the game and 17th of the year. With a few minutes left to play in the period, Ilja Sjekic ties it up again. Until Lander picks up the only assist on the play, and where it's at, it pours up to 40. Block 14 into the third period, Akbars get their lead back. And yes, it's another power play goal. Andrea Markov unloads a mighty clapper from the high slot and beats the rocket on the glove side. Just after that, Red Army get a two-minute advantage, and Hiroka Parisa puts it home to bring it back to even again. Or does he? They take a look at it and roll high stick it on the play, no goal. Just after that, Stanislav Galiv scores his 11th of the year of a crazy sequence and that secures the win for Akbars. They hold on to the two goal lead and beat one of the main cup contenders in home ice. 6-4 is your final on this one. Next on the main are Neftekimik and Slovan. This one wasn't much of a contest. 16 minutes into the game, the Wolves open up the scoring. Robin Gonzal finds the back of the net. Get a lot of Nero Gustafsson with the assist. Less than 5 minutes into the next period, Robin Gonzal scores his second of the night and eighth of the year. Get a lot of with another assist on the play. Even for the period, they improved the lead to 3 0. Alexander Brinsov takes a shot from the blue line and the puck squeaks into the net. Pavel Paradin is credited with the marker. Less than two minutes after that, Rafael Bikmullen fakes a shot, drops the puck for Alexander Upton, and Upton rubs it for his plus of the year. If the team lead 4 0 now. A few minutes into the third period, the Wolves convert on a power play to make it 5 0. You get a lot of necessities of the year. He now has five points in six games after joining the team in Formata. All Slovan can get on this one is a consolation goal muted through the period. Thomas Rinka scores it on a power play. Nikita Kalatov enjoys his ninth career three-point night and Neftekimik wins their fifth consecutive game on home ice. 5-1 is your final. In our last game of the day, Sochi challenge videos on home ice. The visitors get on the board early in this one, just on a 3 minute save, Roman Horst scores a fixed career short hand and goal, 1 0 Vitez. With less than a minute remaining to play in the second period, the visitors double their lead. Racing forward Borna Rendoli scores his 7th of the year. Middle through the third stands as the Leopards finally get a goal as well. Sean Collins with the marker, you've given a looking cup, and Merrick Odell with the assist. But that's when the scoring stops. Vitas protect the one goal lead and take three points on the road. 2 1 is the final in Sochi tonight. And that's it for the LKHL update. We still have a few games to go through before regular season action will be paused for the Olympics. Tomorrow, Sportak will face Dynamo Riga in the only matchup of the day. Don't miss it. My name is Andrea Sachinka. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.